for being here on KSL 5 News at noon. I'm Cher Park. New developments today in a groundbreaking NASA mission from 2023. You'll remember we told you about the team involved in landing a spacecraft on an asteroid, then bringing the pieces of rock back to Earth. Sounds like a movie, right? Well, our Alex Cabrera was in Utah's West Desert when that capsule landed. Yeah, this is the first time an American team brought back samples from an asteroid to here on Earth. I can't even think of the math and the science involved in doing that, but every single calculation worked, and now the real research begins. And like Alex said, researchers have been working ever since. Now NASA is giving us a better look into the epic scientific discovery. News specialist Brian Carlson is live at what NASA discovered from these samples with that information. So, Brian, okay, what did they learn? Well, Cher, if you're into space and the origins of life on Earth, there's a lot to unpack. But the two biggest takeaways from these asteroid samples supported scientists' theory that asteroids crashing through space likely created the building blocks for our solar system. However, they also found that they probably got some of their previous theories about Earth wrong, and that was a surprise. Possibly unpacking the origins of life is what's emerging from the OSIRIS-REx space capsule. And the OSIRIS-REx mission is already rewriting the textbooks on what we understand about the ingredients thought to be necessary for the emergence of life in our solar system. Launched in 2016, OSIRIS-REx traveled more than 200 million miles into space to the asteroid Bennu, where it collected a small amount of rocks and dust from the surface then landed back on Earth in 2023 in Utah's West Desert. Members carrying that SRC in. Now over a year of examining less than 1% of the sample, scientists in a conference call Wednesday sharing they found 14 of the 20 amino acids that life on Earth used to make proteins, essentially the building blocks of life. This all supports the theory that asteroids like Bennu were among the sources that delivered water and chemical building blocks for life. But what they didn't expect was finding a huge range of salt minerals as well, and more evidence debunking a theory that building blocks of our early solar system was predominantly one-sided, often referring to them as left-handed versus right-handed. But that's not what we found. Uh, we found equal mixtures of the left uh, and right-handed forms uh, in these samples. So what does that mean? Well. If you look at this whole situation, they say that it shows them that the origins of life are still a mystery. Now, the good news is they have a lot of time to figure it out. They plan to have the majority of those samples taken from the capsule frozen so they can look them again in 50 years when technology improves. Live in Salt Lake City, Brian Carlson, KSL 5 News. Yeah, I can imagine our technology needs to catch up with what they can really test and do and figure out mm -hmm. from these samples. Very, very cool, Brian. Thank you for that report.